Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm probably going to do back-to-back -back sauce reviews. I got this first. This is a pick a pepper sauce. I thought this was a hot sauce at first, but from looking at the ingredients, I believe this might be a steak or a pork chop sauce because peppers are way down. It just says peppers. It doesn't say hot they are. It says uh, product of the pick a pepper company, limited shooter sale, Jamaica, Wisconsin. Cool. Because it's got stuff like raisins and uh, onions and cane. And this might probably just a steak sauce. This was $2.50. Yeah, big lots. I thought I'd try it out. Got a lot of uh, a lot of information on here. Original flavor. Original quality. Uh, let's see. So the Pick a Pepper Company was established in 1921. This sauce is aged to perfection in oak barrels. It is made from the finest tropical fruit and spices. It contains no artificial coloring, flavoring, or preservatives. Cool. That's, that's before the end of 2017. Allergen and gluten-free stored room temperature. Cool. Distributed in the USA by the Warbuck Sales Company. Mallory, Illinois, Louisiana, huh? So I keep changing. I said uh, Shoe Show, Jamaica, which, and then it says uh, Louisiana, so I don't know. All right, let's give this a shot. That's $2.50. Because I went nuts. I, I got this at uh, Big Lots, and then when I went to Christmas Tree Store, I got, I, I really thought this was a hot sauce, but then I realized it probably a steak sauce after I bought it. Um, uh, and then I was at the Chris Tree stores. I went nuts with hot sauce, but I'll do the hot sauce review next. I mean, in a different video. Open this up. And get the thing open. Once again. Okay, it's coming open. BSing too much. Okay. Okay, I'll open up. Well, it smells like A1. It smells really good. I do love A1 sauce, but I mean, I like trying different sauces. I know Clover Valley had a steak sauce that tastes so much like A1, and it's only like a dollar. Probably more now, because they always raise their prices, but I feel like just getting that. There was one steak sauce I got that I didn't like it. The sauce I got, I don't like it all. I don't even know if I reviewed that one from Ollie's. It was like an oil, oily, kind of like an oily mess. I'm trying on a spoon. Okay. Wow. Well, it tastes like a very... It does have heat to it. At least I think so. But I mean, A1 steak sauce has spice to it too. Um, This tastes like a really watered down A1 sauce. Well, somewhat watered down A1 sauce. It's pretty good. Be really good on pork chops, I think. But I don't... I don't really put stuff on pork chops. I put like some salt on there, salt and pepper, or some garlic powder, and that's about it for pork chops. Uh, I got some pepper steak to be good with this. I don't think this is a bad sauce at all. It's kind of like uh, like Worcester on steroids, kind of. It's not a bad sauce. I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I probably would not. But for what it is, it's pretty good. I probably want to buy it again, though. I'd probably give it a mild, right? Like a mild recommendation of a C, but it's like a seven out, mild 7 out of 10. But it's all right. Uh, I'd check out the Clover Valley steak sauce before I check out this stuff, though. So there you have it. And until next time, take care of my legion.